So what we need to do now is now that we've kind of uh, got like the beginning pieces of our app, we've got to connect everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and what I will do is I will give you guys um, kind of the names that I'm going to use. But, you know, I'm going to connect one to make sure that we understand how that's done. And then you guys do the rest and the video is just going to kind of move forward uh, to the next part. Um, so... Let us go over here. We're going to control, click, and drag. And we are going to make sure that this is um, up here. We're going to kind of separate outlets and actions. So all the ones up here are just going to be outlets. Okay, so this is going to make sure that's type UI text field. We're going to call this uh, just, going to just very easily uh, text field one, or you can do underscore one one um, connect and then this one is going to be uh, we're going to call this emoji label text field 2 um, and then call this one um, message label go ahead and do it now okay now let's kind of scroll down past your function so make sure and this is very important make sure that when you connect this that is between the end bracket of your function but before the end bracket of the, of the entire program or the class so control click and drag the button and this one we're gonna make sure it's an action and we're gonna call this um, we're gonna call this calc Late button and then we're going to add the word pressed because if we wanted to label this to do other things to the button that weren't based on an action then we'd have to give it an outlet and it would just be called calculate button this is just going to be this is, so this is going to be calculate button pressed so we know that it's the action of it being pressed we're going to leave it touch up inside because we want to touch inside the button connect it okay now we want to give ourselves some space okay and kind of that's kind of how you want to set this um, up so first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, make sure that we do a couple things now um, we're gonna learn a little bit about how uh, properties work so each outlet and action and basically anything in Xcode have properties. And there are, um, in Schoology, there is a location. We'll go over that later. Um, but there's a location in one of the folders that have access to all of the Apple information as far as what's going on in Xcode. It tells you about everything, okay? So we want to make sure that we set certain things to kind of like start, finish, so on and so forth. We need to inside the action is where first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. Okay. And we are just going to call this, um, just straight calculator. Okay. And we are going to set it equal to your to your function, friendship calculator, or whatever um, whatever you chose. Okay. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tricky because this is where we're going to talk about properties. Now, I want you to go up here and I want to ask you where do you think we are going to pull the text information from when a person enters a name? because that is what we're doing. We need to find a way to get whatever somebody types into these text fields, okay, into the program and into the function, okay? So we're gonna go up here and we are going to look at text field one and text field two. Text field one is what we're gonna replace here. Now, text field one, and you're gonna get an error. 
error states they cannot convert value of type UI text field to expected argument type string because if we go all the way back up to our function it needs to be a string okay so this is now where we're going to look at properties as soon as you had a period to the end of any of those outlets you have all this stuff here and we go through each thing and each thing is labeled if we go through it we are going to type in text okay and we're not looking at pulling out anything except the text okay and we are going to um, see another error and it says the value of optional type string must be unwrapped to a value of type string the fix that we're going to use right now is the exclamation point now what the exclamation point is going to do um, is it's going to just allow it to whatever the text is in there in this text field here okay is going to show up as a string no matter what no matter what's in there so whether it's a number whether it's blank it's gonna force it I am going to allow you guys to figure out how to do the second one next thing that we need to do is we need to set values okay to our two labels okay so we're gonna go back up and we're gonna find the name of what we did we're gonna do message label first let's actually you know what before we do that let's test our app so let's run our app we're gonna build it let's just make sure it works it's always a good idea to test our apps um, to make sure that they work so let's pull it up and mine's already oriented so oh, now it's upside down okay so here we go Name, we're gonna type in. Oh, you know what? Let's go Kylo Ren and Ray Skywalker. The app doesn't crash, so that's a good thing. All right, let's click the simulator. Now we need to have a result, so we're gonna focus on the message label message label okay and we're gonna go here and I bet you guys I'm gonna sit here for a second I bet you guys can figure out what property we're gonna take out of the label because we're gonna set a string to it Okay, if you didn't figure it out already, it's going to be the text property. And we are going to set it equal, okay, to our calculator. Now, calculator, but we're gonna get an error here, and what it says is cannot assign value of type string int to type string. So remember, we have two returns. We have a string, we have an int. We have to specify okay so as you guys start learning how to do this the period after certain things can be very powerful and I'm going to let you guys look at the three options here and I'm going to let you choose the obvious option okay and if you didn't figure that out already it is point zero because that is the string and notice it works fine now. So let's go ahead and press play. And notice that the phone, which we left in order, the landscape mode, we have to orient it and orient it back and then it should go back. Okay, so let's enter two names. Let's do um, Darth Vader and 
let's do let's go and totally nerd Star Wars here and let's go Darth Bane and let's see what happens Darth Vader and Darth Bane have received a score of 99 your friendship is a never dot 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 okay so we have some issues here this might be a problem and this is going to have to figure out. Now, the other thing we're going to have to do, so we will, I will help you with this problem. And then we will move on to uh, a second part of this. But what you need to figure out is how to get this label to display something else. Now, if you're doing the BMI calculator, this label could be the number, your actual BMI number. Or you can put that somewhere else. Um, if you're doing one of the other calculators, you could choose an image or you could choose an emoji. Um, will have to be set by the text property because an emoji is a text, is a string. And we have different numbers, okay, as returns. So it's going to be calculator.1. This would be a great place to start using if statements. So if message dot if calculator point one equals one, what kind of emojis are going to be considering your friendship is never ending soon. Okay? So I'm going to leave that for you to figure out. Try your best. Now, as far as our problem with the text being displayed, right here, once we click on lines, increase the amount of lines to use. I'm assuming that there's going to be really no more than two lines, but you can do three. Okay, let's run it one more time to make sure that that fixes the problem. We might have to have it run a few times. So let's take left, take right, enter in two names. Okay, and then here we go. Shows up on the next line. Okay, so it all works. And that fixed that problem. 